Hi YouTube, it's Tony. I thought I'd do an update. Um, so my tar went through with Medi-Cal, which I don't know if you guys know, but Medi-Cal sucks and like it takes like a month for them to give you permission to have surgery or anything like that. So anyways, they finally came through with that so that I can have my back surgery. So I'm set up for, I think it's June 13th is my surgery date. Um, so, I'm not really excited about it, but kind of want to get it over with. Um, I look like crap because I've pretty much just been like sleeping and like locked up in my room because I just, I've been depressed and just kind of miserable. Um, kind of starting to get out of my funk a little bit. Um, so I talked to my primer and she is taking over, um, from my psychiatrist's bullshit. Um, so she's going to be giving me my meds and everything. Um, I ended up not switching over to the methadone, um, because I thought that, um, I should actually be taking more no Norco before they switched me over, which, I don't know, it didn't make sense to me, but, um, I started to go, like, insane, basically, um, because I was taking, like, eight Norco a day, and then with, like, my psychiatrist ditching me and, like, a bunch of other crap going on, it just really, like, sent me over the edge, and I was just freaking out and just really having a horrible time, and so I went and saw Janice, my primary, and I was like, I don't know what's wrong, and I can't do this anymore, you know. And so she was pretty sure that the Norco had a lot to do with that. Um, so she talked to her colleague, and um, they decided that I really do need to get off of it. Um, so they switched me over to a... Uh, low dose of morphine basically and it lasts 24 hours in your system um so you only have to take it once a day and it has really been working pretty well i still can't do anything if i do anything then you know i'm in pain so that kind of sucks so i'm wondering if i might have to have a higher dosage of it but um you know that that's going good and i was able to stop um the narco pretty much cold turkey yeah, i only have to take it every once in a while if you know i'm in tremendous about a pain or whatever so that's kind of good news i guess <laughs> um i don't really have much else to really update on um i am starting to kind of get out of my depression funk a little bit and my head feels a lot clearer being off the Norco, definitely. Um, so, slowly but surely, I'm kind of getting better. I haven't been, you know, to work or anything like that. And I haven't been seeing my friends, Susan. And, like, I miss them. It's this weird thing where, like, I miss them terribly. And, yeah, it's so debilitating, like, not... It's like being afraid of going outside. Like all I do is take Crystal to work and then pick her up. Other than that, I just I don't leave the house. So I don't know. Um, that's just kind of what's going on right now. But I am slowly starting to get out of it a little bit. Um, it's really about it. Um, I don't really have any more updates on weight loss surgery, um, because I'm still waiting to, <laughs> I'm never, I don't know, it's kind of frustrating, because I have to get, you know, the upfront money to have my nutritionist, um, meeting, and my, um, psychological evaluation, which kind of pisses me off, because, you know, like, why do they need the money up front when they're saying that the insurance is going to reimburse you within a couple of days? I don't really get that. 
Um, I've recently switched over to Blue Cross. So, I don't know if it's a Blue Cross thing. Uh, I recently switched to Blue Shield. So, I don't know if it's a Blue Cross thing. So, I'm going to call them again and find out because that's like my roadblock right now. If I can get past that and get that stuff done, then I'm ready to go. You know, I just have to go to um, my um, support group, which I can do June 1st. And um, I have my blood test order. And I just have to go have my blood drawn. And that's not really a big deal. You know, it just takes five minutes or whatever to go down there and get your blood drawn and have the test results sent up there. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm trying to get that done. And that's really still important to me. I'm definitely still trying to get on track with that. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, thank you for all my new subscribers. You guys are awesome. Um, I think it's kind of funny that people are actually interested in what I have to say. Um, but it's really cool that you guys are subscribing to me. I really appreciate it. Um, so I'll go ahead and sign off. And when I have more to update on, then I'll get back on and hopefully update you guys. So thank you and I will see you later.